Well, hello YouTube, it's me Fortmaster, and welcome back to another Film Theory Reaction. Film Theory, The Devil Made You Do It, and it's for Harmony and Horror. Now, um, Harmony and Horror is an analog horror series made by... Baddington, I think it is? It's been a while since I've seen any of the- any of it. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, it's by Baddington. So yeah, Baddington... Harmony and Horror involves, like, puppets. There's, like, as it's seen in the thumbnail, uh, there's, you know, this weird ice cream man animatronic. Uh, it's, it's a really, it's a lot of weird stuff. I don't, I, well, not that I don't know much. I just, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to, like, you know, actually make much sense of it. That's why I watch stuff like this. Bannon's also made, you know, a, a fair number of uh, FNAF analog horror stuff, which, again, very good. I just... So, as always, original is linked in the description. Uh, let's actually begin this, shall we? Ah, great. Up goes the weasel. Welcome to Film Get, don't Theory, die on me. where everything is all fun and games until it isn't. So it's been a bit of a hot minute since we last talked about spoopy, scary animatronics on this channel. Over <laughs> a year, in fact. It's a long time, especially when you consider that some other channels out there are able to get, like, a video a week out of that sort of stuff. I mean, who do you think we are? Game Theory? That said... Also, uh, why is this glitching? Uh, also, Matt, where's part three of the FNAF timeline? There is a series that I've been wanting to talk about that scratches the same animatronic itch. Harmony and Horror. So I was right. He has not done an episode on Harmony and Horror yet. So I wasn't just being super forgetful because eventually, you know you watch enough of these things and they all start to blur together into a big gray mass. That's just how YouTube works. Created by the incredibly talented animator Baddington right here on YouTube.com. Now, if you've watched any analog horror before or you follow our theories covering them, you know the drill. It's the 80s. Everything is on low quality VHS camera footage <laughs> and things that are normally fun in this case toys are getting corrupted turning scary attacking nearby security guards man th th this really is like fnaf isn't it <laughs> i just can't escape it another thing harmony and horror borrows from its fnaf father is a complicated timeline in classic analog horror fashion the uploads here aren't happening in chronological order which means that putting together a timeline of events gets challenging we see the same event from multiple different perspectives those uploads are happening more than a year apart characters are pulling double duty there is a lot of mystery here What's oh more, yeah, I remember the, the faces in the dark. Is being told to us through literal tapes in universe, with most of the uploads starting as a VHS tape that gets put into a VCR, meaning that there is a meta layer on top of all of this. So with my FNAF <laughs> timeline finally done and written, I wanted to sit down and put together another animatronic story, one that's much scarier and isn't afraid to go darker. That said, before we dive in, I do want to say that this theory yeah, is it's written, but where's part three? We're still we're still expecting at least two more parts gonna be talking about season one yeah season two is already underway but considering how much there is to cover in season one we wouldn't be doing this series justice if we tried cramming it all together so do me a favor try not to spoil anything from season two down in the comments we'll be saving that one for another video without any further ado dim the lights and hug spoilers your buddy people close who spoil are it. horrible it's time to tell the tragic tale of a family that's been broken apart by greed and ultimately held together reluctantly by satan himself our story follows the Greywinder family. Martin, what? his wife Gloria, and their three children, Thomas, Macy, and their infant girl, Ava. Martin and his brother Arthur co-found a toy manufacturing company called M&A Harmony Toys, along with an entertainment production company called M&A Harmony Play Productions. The M&A here obviously standing for the brothers, Martin and Arthur. Now, sadly, things don't seem to be going too well for the both of them. In the video, Are You Happy?, we see the screen briefly glitch to reveal a newspaper clipping reviewing one of their toys, Henry the Puppet Doll. And the Criticism isn't kind, saying that the toy feels more dead than alive. This infuriates the prideful and jealous Martin, starting an obsession to make the most lifelike toys imaginable by incorporating parts of real life creatures. Arthur begs him to stop, but Martin refuses, partly out of obsession, partly out of pride, but mostly because Arthur is having an affair with Martin's wife, Gloria. Eddie, what was going on between you two? Martin, stop like that. 
With his life crumbling around him, Martin becomes angry and violent, especially towards his son Thomas. My daddy loves me. He loves me so. Even if he beats me though. It gets bad enough that the police eventually have to intervene as oh. we see in the video rebirth. By 1982, Martin's become a full-on murderer. We see this in the videos Are You Happy and What Went Wrong. Two archives of the local children show that Martin produces through Harmony Play Productions. And what they depict is, uh, it is truly disturbing. In the videos, two children Very, and yeah, I remember Bonzo these. visit a traveling toy maker in the hopes that he'll make them the perfect toy. The toy maker agrees, but is sad because he can't make the toys more lifelike. My toys can blink, but they can't see. My toys can walk, but they can't dance. My toys can eat, but they can't taste. Can't make the toys more lifelike, huh? It's almost like art imitates life. Regardless, the kids offer to help the toy maker out, so he sends them out on a series of fetch quests. This includes bringing back a needle and thread, paint and fabric, and perhaps most strangely, their dog, Bonzo. What do you need him for? The toy needs to be happy. Don't you want it to be happy? This then becomes his first monster's no. creation, a giant living version of Stitch Buddy with the spirit of the dog inside of it. Oh, Large, dangerous, and obedient, Martin loves his creations. What's with the size changing? Was the small thing just sort of like a hallucination or what's going on here? So he continues. The final ingredient he needs for their perfect toy is their voice, asking the kids to repeat after him. But before we hear what he's saying, the tape is interrupted by a federal warning telling viewers that if any of the original audio or video from the section of the broadcast remains, they must close their eyes, cover their ears, and turn their head around 180 degrees. Public access television ain't <laughs> great, <laughs> but it can't be that bad, right? Towards the end of the tape, we're shown pictures of several kids who died in 1982 the same year as this particular broadcast. Under each picture is the child's cause of death, one that came from a seizure while watching his favorite show, the other whose head was facing backwards. Both of these are heavily implying that whatever happened to these kids was caused by the cut part of the broadcast. The whole event would eventually come to be known as the Harmony Broadcast Incident. But evil tapes yeah. that's only the beginning of Martin's descent into depravity. Around the same time, Amy Wilson, Martin's intern at M&A Harmony Toys, goes missing. And here's the thing, this isn't the first time we hear of this character either. One of those pictures of people who died in 1982 was labeled Amy Wilson, but she wasn't the victim of some TV broadcast gone wrong. She was murdered by Martin. Her picture says, she stopped screaming, screaming when her, her spine, spine came, came out. out. Whew, that is just a, that is just a special layer of dark. And it would seem like the Harmony uh... Broadcast incident was Martin's confession to this particular crime. You see, when the boys from the cartoon go to collect the needle and thread, they get it out of a body bag with a human corpse inside of it. Just look at that face. It is floppy and structureless, almost like it's skull and spine were removed, just like Amy Wilson. <sighs> Hold on, going from cuckolded husband and jealous toy maker to serial murderer? Yeah, that's a bit a of a jump. massive leap of escalation. Why? Why did these kids die? Why did Martin kill Amy Wilson? Why is he resorting to releasing a creepy evil video broadcast if he's just obsessed with creating lifelike toys? The answer, my friends, is Satan. The devil literally made him do it. Right at the beginning of the video, Are You Happy? We get this line. Andrew, you interrupted my dream. About a man dressed in red with ice cream cones on his That's head. That's ridiculous, Marcus. Huh, a man dressed in red with ice cream cones on his head. Ice cream cones or horns. Later, in What Went Wrong, we uh. actually see the silhouette of this very man. It's a figure that's so intimidating, it scares the toy maker. Please. I just need more time. You just need to give me more time. You just need to give me more time. No, 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 no. Not only that, but we see evidence of demonic rituals happening outside of that particular video as well. In She Can't Sleep, we see another toy. The singing Sophia doll hidden inside of a closet surrounded by candles and a crucifix on the wall. Almost looks like some sort of rituals happening. We see more yeah. of those candles lined up in the toy maker shop during the Harmony broadcast incident. And in the video Good Boy, we get confirmation as to what's happening. Martin is killing things and then performing satanic rituals to bind souls to the various toys around the toy shop. His first successful victim is the dog Bonzo, who gets fused into the giant animalistic Stitch Buddy toy. The part that was clipped from the Harmony broadcast incident? Yep, it had to have been Satanic. some sort of demonic incantation yeah. that certain viewers at home felt the need to repeat. He clearly made a deal with the devil to make his toys more lifelike, and all of it- A literal deal with the control. devil.
especially control. He really likes that feeling, and it's something that we're gonna watch him assert on his family over and over again across the next four videos. Frustrated at the lack of control that he has over his family and his wife, Martin breaks. As he puts his daughter Macy to sleep, Martin seems distracted and sad, refusing to sing her a lullaby. But he promises to, quote, make her a doll that can sing. A promise that he will literally make true later make that night. Make her a doll. He reminds Macy that... This is exactly like those things whenever you see like cannibals in, in like uh, media and it's like, oh, we'll, we'll have you for dinner. It's like, you're not going to a bit on the head there. He and mommy have a business meeting in the morning and that she might not be seeing her mother for a while. But clearly there is no business meeting here. Instead, Martin confronts Gloria about her infidelity. And in the video She Can't Sleep, we hear the aftermath of that conversation. Gloria frantically enters Macy's room, waking her before the pair are attacked by Stitch Buddy. After a glitch, we hear Gloria hiding Macy before Martin ultimately finds and kills Gloria. Martin, though, far from deterred, continues to hunt. He moves on to Macy, Thomas, and Ava, binding each to a different toy in the M&A roster. Clown. Thomas Pixelated becomes Mary clowns. the puppet. Macy becomes Sophia the singing marionette, and Ava the baby becomes, well, this Whatever thing. that thing is. Now with control over his family, Martin seems happy again. With a pep in his step, he introduces a new mascot named the Ice Cream Man to his brother Arthur, believing that this character is going to be a hit for the company. But Arthur is done. Unaware of the previous night's rampage, Arthur reveals that he's talked to Gloria and that she and the kids are leaving with him. At least until Martin gets his act together. That's when Martin reveals that he's already fixed their quote-unquote little problem. Interestingly, this is exactly what the toy maker says during the Harmony broadcast incident. At this point, Martin has basically not gonna let anybody the down. I am not going to let anyone let me down. Including you. Using his demonic rituals, Martin then fuses his brother into the ice cream man suit. But even though he's gone, parts of Arthur's soul still shine through. In a yeah. scene split across two separate videos released a year apart, we see that Arthur, in the form of the ice cream man, forces Martin to pay for his crimes. Oh. Legitimately, it's a cool creative choice, but as you might suspect, this is far from the end of Martin. He suffers the exact same fate as his family, his body disappearing and his soul becoming trapped inside yet another animatronic toy puppet thing. Everything's been used! <laughs> I suppose you could say he always comes back. This time, though, no, we're dealing yeah. with the creepy clown known as the Jester. At this point, the outside world considers the Greywinders to have vanished. We see a news report in the video Local 13 detailing a police raid on the Greywinder household. While they find no signs of Martin or his family, they do discover the bodies of eight other victims, with their limbs cut off and their skin empty, presumably the people that he killed to make his first wave of monstrosities. With the Greywinders oh. now gone, some other corporate entity swoops in and buys the business, taking over the M&A Harmony toy store and continuing to sell the evil dolls. So is that the end? Obviously not. We find out exactly where, does where the this family go, is Matt? these days thanks to the title of the next video, which is uh, this. If you're an ARG veteran, you'll recognize this it's as a substitution cipher. A simple Caesar cipher. If you shift yeah. each of the letters in the title back by one, it reads, they are inside the building. Their souls are still trapped there, inside the toys, begging for release, bashing their heads against the wall in an attempt to escape. And bit by bit, they're losing themselves to whatever demonic curse that Martin cast on them. In I Want a Toy, we see the Henry puppet doll sing before breaking down as a literal demon crawls out of his head. In Don't Cry, if you refuse to sing with Sophia, her face opens up and a demonic tentacle comes out to attack the viewer. And in Goodbye My Loved Ones, Arthur's spirit straight up tells us that he doesn't have much time left. I don't know. But most interestingly, he asks the viewer to stop him. <laughs> Stop him from what exactly? From attacking and hurting innocent people. Several of the videos feature the toys at the M&A Harmony toy store coming to life, attacking the security guards, crawling through the vents to get to them. And one shot here features a grotesque pink monster. That right there, that is Arthur. That is what he's been cursed to become. And through it all, Martin's soul is still within the jester, haunting the store right alongside the rest of them, trapped in a nightmare of his own creation. Now, we could certainly leave things there, and we'd already have ourselves a tragic, compelling story story. A yeah. man is so obsessed with creating perfection that he ends up being the downfall of his own family. But, but it's going to get worse and it's going to get a lot worse. Isn't it? 
we're not done yet. You'll notice that one member of the family avoided being stuffed into an animatronic suit, as it were. Martin's wife, Gloria. For whatever reason, she isn't transformed into a toy, and she isn't cursed in the same way as the rest yeah, of the family. Yeah, she was just so killed. So where then is she? She can't have been the only one to have escaped, right? Right. She's here too. Throughout all of the videos, if you pay attention, you'll notice a ghost appearing in the background of several shots. She appears in Are You Happy as a ghost lingering in the background, in Through Broken Windows, she's behind the image of her son, in Wake Up Bonzo, she's emerging from the shadows, in Henry Henry.mp4, she's staring into the toy shop. And most importantly, in Goodbye Arthur, she's reaching a handout and begging the viewer to come with me. But why? Why has she invaded these tapes, this archive of all of Martin's sins? Why is she breaking the fourth wall to tell us to come with her? Why is she talking to us? Well, it's because we are Martin. We are the jester. We are literally the bad guy of this story. Rewatching these tapes over and over and over, obsessing over the details of our life, trapped inside of this nightmare. At the right, right, each video begins as as if you're putting in a VHS tape and pressing play. Right, okay, so somebody is literally watching these. Top of the theory, I mentioned how most of the uploads in the series begin with a VHS tape being inserted Literally what VCR. I just said. What I didn't mention is that if you look closely, you can see the reflection of the character watching the tapes inside the television screen. Out right there, as a great detail. And whose reflection is staring back at us every time? Martin, the jester. He's watching the tapes. And Gloria is using the tapes to try and get through to him. To us. In the season one finale, Come Back to Me, Gloria's twisted face face calms, the wide-eyed scream becoming a solemn sadness. It's here that she reveals that she was the one playing these tapes for us, showing us the story, begging Martin to see what he's done, how he's hurt the family, how they were all proud of him before his deal with the devil, how he can still come back to them and make things right. And for a minute, it seems like there might be hope. The beginning of this video reveals that the field from rest assure, where all his fears and regrets from his life can't hurt him, that was actually where he had his first date with Gloria, where they started their relationship which led to their family. That's a place where he doesn't have to be the jester. He doesn't have to be the toy maker or whatever his deal with the devil turned him into. But Martin can't come back. At least he doesn't want to. Whether it's because of his rage or his regret or his corruption, Martin is too far gone. He breaks the television and banishes Gloria's spirit as the screen shatters. So there you have it. That's Harmony and Horror Season 1. Or at least the best I could do at putting together this fragmented narrative into the heartbreaking story of a oh. man's destructive need for perfection and control. As I mentioned before, Baddington has already started Season 2. So if you want to get there before I do my next theory, go check it out. If I remember correctly, I think I saw a bit, I, I think, if I remember correctly, I think I saw the Miracle Child, and it was one of them talking about, like, it was one of them talking to, in front of, a, like, a press meeting about how, uh, what his brother did to him, and, like, and how he was left disfigured and stuff. Hmm link is down in the description below. And hey, if there are other little known online series that you want me to check out, leave them down in the comments. I'm accepting all recommendations. Bonus points if there are no animatronics or possessed spirits. Well, well, well. <sighs> Again, I will say this, I've said this once and I'll say it a million times. The amount of effort and creativity that goes into these analog horror uh, things is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, like, of course, like, sometimes you can look at them as like, oh, these aren't ma made that well. But then you have to also remember, it's like, oh, it may not be animated well. But then there's, like, several layers of, re there's rendering, several layers of post-processing. Just all that stuff that actually goes into video production. It's just, mm. and, uh, I actually, and I, knowing that, now that I actually know what the background of Harmony, Hor Harmony and Horror is hopefully when I see the newer videos when they come out I can actually can actually try to figure out what's going on before the next film theory comes out so yeah without further ado uh, as always original is linked in the description uh, and I hope you guys liked if you did leave a like subscribe if you have not and I'll see you guys next time goodbye